Right. Today is not going to be a long video. It is one o'clock in the morning. Um, I weren't sure if I was going to do this video. I was really, really busy. I had some personal stuff to deal with, and but I said to myself, no, my subscribers <coughs> deserve a video. Um, so I'm going to put it out there. Now, George Russell. Nobody saw that coming. If anybody comes out and said that they knew that George Russell was going to get pole, they are chatting. That's what they're chatting. Utter garbage. Nobody saw that coming. I didn't even see that coming. But I'm happy. You're damn right I'm happy. You damn right I am happy. Because that shows that Mercedes are back. They proved it um, two weeks ago. And now they're proving it again now at Hungary. Proved it in France, Austria. And now they're proving it again. They are back. Now, as for Lewis Hamilton winning the world title. Turn this down. As for, Lewis, as for Lewis Hamilton winning the world title, I can't see that happening. If this would have happened, if the car would have come good four races ago, I would have said, yeah, he's got a chance. But I just can't see Lewis Hamilton winning the world title. But what I can see, that I talked about it on my last video, I can see Mercedes winning the Constructors. Standard. Now, today, Lewis Hamilton got a seventh. We know why Lewis Hamilton got a seventh today. It's because... DRS ran out. So all the haters are going to come out and say, oh yeah, George is better than Lewis. Let me put the facts out there before you open your big mouth. The fact is, Q1, Lewis was faster than George. Q2, Lewis was faster than George. At the beginning of Q3, Lewis Hamilton was faster than George. And at the end, right at the end, just before you do your last lap, no DRS for Lewis Hamilton. So Lewis Hamilton decided to pull out. Which for me, I wouldn't have pulled out. I would have just tried and done the lap anyway and see what happens. Because Max Verstappen was having power issues. Karma. And Perez, I don't know what happened to Perez. Perez didn't even get into Q3. So I'm not sure what's happening with Perez. I heard there was some um, argument backstage. I heard there was um, Harbert Marco's not happy with Perez's progress. You heard Lewis Hamilton. You heard... Christian Horner two weeks ago say um, at the end of qualifying in um, France, he said, um, I'm surprised. I'm not sure if um, Perez was going to turn up. That's what Christian Horner said, I quote. So there's obviously there's something going on between Perez, Helmut Marko and Christian Horner because the last couple of races in qualifying, um, Perez hasn't been there. But do I care? No. So, congratulations to Russell. His first pole of his career. First pole. Absolutely amazing. Hats off to George Russell. I hope tomorrow, down the first turn, he doesn't get hit by anybody. But it's going to be tough for him tomorrow to keep um, the Ferrari behind him. Because it's not the fact that they haven't got the speed. I thought, well, we know that Ferrari is probably the fastest car. But Lewis Hamilton's not there to protect him. We all know in Formula 1 history that if you've got two team, if you've got two teammates, second and third, and you're out on your own in first, the pick the, the team in second and third have got the advantages because they can play the strategy game. This track is made for Ferrari with all the little corners. That lap what George Russell done, that was from the gods. That was from the gods. And hopefully tomorrow it can stay ahead. I want him to stay ahead. I would love George Russell to win this race. But it's going to be tough for him tomorrow. Some people say the positive and positive and positive all the time. I'm a positive guy. But I'm also a realistic guy. And it's going to be tough for him to keep the Ferrari guys behind him. Now, as for Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton is going to start off in 7th place. In front of him, he has got Alonso. We all know what happened last year at the Hungarian Grand Prix. When Alonso was holding up Lewis Hamilton for, make me guess, 10 laps. So, 
what Lewis Hamilton needs to do tomorrow is make sure he gets the best start that he has ever had this year and jump Alonso at the start. We know he had a good start in France and we know he had a decent start at Austria. He needs to do that again. That's what he needs to do. If he gets a good start, he gets in front of um, he gets in front of Alonso and Ocon. Oh yeah, by the way, first time this year Ocon had qualified Alonso. And that was that congratulations to Ocon. But if Lewis Hamilton go back to Lewis Hamilton, if Lewis Hamilton can get in front of Alonso and Ocon, then he'll have Norris in front of him. And then that's it then. Eventually he'll pass Norris and get himself into the top three or in top four and battle for the win. But we, we don't know how it's going to go on. But we all know with Hungarian Grand Prix, that first corner is the, one of the tightest corners on the calendar. And anything could happen on that first corner. You get up to two Ferraris right behind him. And hopefully he can try and get away. Get away from the DRS zone within a couple of laps. Before the DRS, DR, before the DRS zone gets activated, he needs to try and get over a second um, in front of the Ferrari, but that's going to be a tall ask for George Russell. So, that's the end of the review, man. George Russell win, hopefully, maybe. Lewis Hamilton win, hopefully, maybe. Or even a Ferrari win, hopefully, maybe. It's a toss up. This is Solo P1 signing out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And before I go, one more message. Max Verstappen had an engine problem. Max Verstappen didn't get pole. Max Verstappen had a power issue. <laughs> I love it, Max Verstappen. Let's hope Max Verstappen doesn't get on the podium tomorrow. Let's hope Max Verstappen doesn't finish the race tomorrow. Max Verstappen, let's hope, let's hope and pray that he has an engine failure. <laughs>